Hi guys, how are you today? I wanted to jump on here really quickly and talk about the Taraji P. Henson and the Whoopi Goldberg situation with Oprah Winfrey. And I would say, in all honesty, about a month ago, I was really shocked that the newer generation did not like Oprah Winfrey. They don't like her. They feel that she's low down, underhanded, and doesn't help the black community. And this was very hard for me to understand at first because my generation grew up loving her because she accomplished so much. But now, after what she's doing to Whoopi Goldberg and Taraji P. Henson and Fantasia, oh my gosh, the younger generation, they were on to something. So let's get into it. So we all know Taraji P. Henson came out a couple days ago very distraught. She was actually crying. And she was saying that black actresses and actors in Hollywood aren't getting paid what they're worth. Now, at the time, we had no idea she was talking about Oprah Winfrey. I'm just tired of working so hard, being gracious at what I do getting paid a fraction of the cost. You get tired. Mm -hmm. I hear people go, you work a lot. Yeah. Well, have to. Mm -hmm. The math ain't mathin'. Now, according to the rumors, there was an executive that approached Tarazi P. Henson. Now, I really do believe that this executive was Steven Spielberg. That's just a feeling that I have. But right now, this executive is not being named. Anyway, he approached Taraji P. Henson and asked her how come she did the movie that Oprah is producing now, The Color Purple, the musical. Why does she accept the role at such a low rate? According to Taraji P. Henson, she said that Oprah Winfrey told her that they only could pay her so much because of the writer's strike. And then this executive goes on to tell her, that's not true. You're top tier. We would have paid you top dollar. They said when Taraji found out that Oprah did her dirty, she was absolutely devastated. Then she gets with the other actresses, Fantasia Barino, Halle Bailey, Danielle Brooks, and they all start comparing notes, in which they all find out that they are extremely underpaid. I'm being told they were paid as if they were still performing on what we call the Chitlin Circuit. And we all remember the Chitlin Circuit back in the day. And let's not forget how she lied to cut Whoopi Goldberg out of the movie completely. Now, The Color Purple was Whoopi's signature role. She actually won an Academy Award for her performance. Her role in The Color Purple is what makes her an outstanding EGOT winner. And we don't have too many African-American EGOT winners. Uh, I can think of only a couple. Viola Davis, perhaps, uh, Jennifer Hudson. I can't think of any more. I mean, in the original, Whoopi Goldberg is what made the movie such a success. But according to the rumors, Oprah Winfrey went around and actually told the other producers, Steven Spielberg, Scott Sanders, and Quincy Jones, that Whoopi wanted nothing to do with the remake. She even told this lie to the cast, specifically Fantasia Barino. And according to Fantasia, she grew up idolizing Whoopi in this role. I can't wait to see her. And see, because you got to understand, I could never come behind Whoopi and do anything. She laid the path. And she laid it well. But according to Whoopi Goldberg, Oprah straight out lied. She said she was never approached to do the movie because if she would have been in any kind of capacity, she would have done it. And now, after finding out how dirty Oprah is and what a liar she is, according to the rumors, the cast, they're done with her. They're not even speaking to her. And this is why the press junket was absolutely awkward yesterday when nobody was speaking to Oprah Winfrey, at least none of the cast members. Child, I just want to know, what did Oprah do to Taraji? Like, check this out. Look how she walk up, right? They all walking up. Look at it. Look. Okay, look. They don't greet each other. Taraji looking over here in space, just so she don't have to make eye contact with Oprah. Oprah doesn't turn to the side and say, to, say anything to her. Okay. I can't remember her name. I think her name is Danielle, this other actress. I don't know. I'm not going to lie on her, but I love her. Here come Fantasia. And hey, look, she right there by Taraji, right? Right? And look what she do. Look what she do. Scoot them down and get at the end. Now, to say that this was awkward was an understatement. How are you going to be on a press tour and no cast member is speaking to you? 
Now, everyone's going around saying that Oprah treated everybody this way because she wanted all the attention. According to the rumors, Oprah Winfrey is absolutely jealous of Whoopi Goldberg. And they feel that Oprah isn't celebrated anymore the way that she used to be. And one of the reasons she's not celebrated anymore is because of the things that she has done in her past. According to the rumors, Oprah Winfrey was more than willing to make a documentary about Michael Jackson and his allegations, even though he's no longer with us, to defend himself. She also did Russell Simmons the same way. She was going to make a documentary about his allegations, but not let him on the documentary to defend himself. When she found out that the accuser's story wasn't that very strong, she decided to cancel the documentary, but not talk about it publicly. There was also a large portion of her career when she flat out refused to support any kind of rappers. According to her, she didn't support the lifestyle, and she didn't agree with them using the N-word. It's being reported that Gail had to beg her to bring on 50 Cent and Puff Daddy. And while she was going around making documentaries about African-American men that have been falsely accused, she failed to talk about her own scandal. At her school in Africa, the dorm mother was accused of touching some of the girls. And there was absolutely no documentary made about that. And of course, recently we found her in a couple lies. She said that she didn't take Ozempic and that she did it the natural way, only to be forced to come out a couple weeks later because the story was going to break anyway. So now more and more people are losing respect for Oprah Winfrey to the point that the cast themselves decided to give Whoopi Goldberg the flowers that she absolutely deserves. There would be no remake of The Color Purple without the one and only Miss Whoopi Goldberg. It's been a brilliant Pulitzer Prize winning book. It's an incredible cinematic classic, and we owe you. So, so for me, it was, it was going back to Alice's brilliant words. And for me, it was that opening line, mm-hmm. right? Dear God, I'm 14 years old, yeah. right? And, you know, the, the, for me, I knew immediately that anyone who can write letters to God has an imagination. Yeah. Yes. And immediately I said, if we could expand that imagination, if we could give Celie that expands yeah. mm-hmm. to dream all her dreams to to live them in her head that will eventually help her to achieve them in real life, Mm -hmm. then we'll actually be contributing to this canon, Mm. right? And that, for me, was the main thing. Once I figured that out, I mean, it was about finding these brilliant women Mm -hmm. to just bring life into that. I mean, at the end of the day, isn't this what this is all about? For a 14-year-old girl that's being touched against her will by some strange man and she can't do anything about it? Isn't the color purple supposed to inspire people that feel helpless? That's what I thought this was about. But according to Oprah Winfrey, this is about some 70-year-old woman that's past her time that still craves attention. Or at least that's how I feel about it. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Am I being too hard on Oprah Winfrey? And why do you think she's doing the things that she's doing? Or do you not believe these rumors at all? Until next time, bye for now.